Um, for those of you who haven't used SurveyMonkey before, I, I thought I'd create a, a quick video that shows you how to log in um, and create a few survey questions. So I'll just take you through that now. First thing to do is to go to the SurveyMonkey website, www.surveymonkey.com. And either you can sign up for, uh, for free access. This gives you somewhat limited uh, access to the survey tools. You can have up to 10 questions and um, you're allowed a certain number of responses. Um, and then, of course, if you want to create bigger surveys for larger populations, then you've got to sign up for the, uh, the one that you pay for. But the free one is, is, is sufficient for what we're going to use it for. So you click on Sign Up, Free, and then you can pick a username, a password, confirm your password, and an email address, and then they'll, uh, they'll send you your information. So it's quite easy and fast. Now once you've got your, uh, your account, you can sign in. So I'll do that now. And the interface is pretty well, pretty easily laid out. Uh, the first thing it does is it gives you a list of all of the surveys that you've already created. Um, and it keeps them for, for years, so it's, it's really useful in that respect. And if you want to go back to one of your previous surveys and work on it, you can uh, go to Design and, and uh, make changes to it. Once your survey is, is finished, you click on Collect to indicate that you want to start collecting data. And then after you collect data, you click on Analyze to analyze your data. So it's all actually very, very simple. I'm going to just show you how to create a quick survey. So we'll go up to Create Survey. Create a new survey from scratch. I'll make this one about Knowledge Commons. So here's the beginning of my survey. It comes with a number of different themes, which are different color schemes for your survey. I'll just keep Spring Day as my theme. You can add a question. And you can choose from a whole bunch of different question types. I'm going to just choose a multiple choice question. Okay, so here's my question, and there are three different possible answers. You can run Knowledge Commons in um, titles mode. You can run it in split screen mode. And you can run it in contents mode. So I'll put those as my three answers. And save. And there's my first question. Okay, now I'll, I'll add another question quickly. Maybe I'll make this one a, a short answer question. Um, single tech, um, let's maybe comment essay box. Um, please describe a problem used. You have countered. Okay, and I can save my changes there. And so there's my second question with a space for people to, um, to enter the response. If you want to preview your survey and see what it looks like, you can click on Preview. That's what, what people will see. Okay, and that's about all. So you, you can just create as many, uh, well, up to 10 questions with the free version. Okay, let's go back to my surveys. Now suppose I wanted to start collecting data from people. I would click on, click on the Collect button. It gives me three options for how to collect responses. Create a link to send in your own email message, and that's what most people use. Or have them send a survey invitation, or create a pop-up invitation. So I'll keep this first one. 
Um, I'll write in the title. There we go. Okay, and now it gives me a URL that I can use now. I can give it out to people and they can start uh, doing my survey. So if I start a new window here, I put in the URL, it takes people to my survey. So there you go. That's that's pretty much all there is. Well, there, there is more, but that, that should give you a good start. Um, so try creating a survey. You can do this for your, your class assignment. And um, then turn on collect responses so your classmates can, uh, can try out your survey in uh, SurveyMonkey. Okay, thanks.